the safety security cap them, unfortunately, like probably about a year, year or two into like doing freights, you know, security started trashing them, like concept, consolidated security. You know, the um, concept on your pieces, trashing. The main reason, I believe, was like, uh, you know, they trash, take a photo of your piece, trash them so they know what they had photos of. You know, build their little file, you know what I mean? Then you had uh, old Andy, one of the train drivers out there, writing idiot art and stuff like that, and, you know, call crime stoppers, did your child do this on your pieces? Like, you know, like, you know, he was just a shit sir and train driver, but, you know, yeah, him as well. You know, the thing was either paint or the marker, right? His main thing was idiot art. You write on your pieces, but even then, man, like the piece might be trashed a little bit. You still can, you know, all that do some nice full color on there. It's cruising around in like years. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's one time when good paint can come into it because they're trashing your stuff with shit paint. You've got good paint. It's probably going to fade quicker. So at least, you know, so, you know, it would be a little trash, but still got nice pieces running. You're seeing a 40, you know, wagon freight go past and you've got a dozen full colours cruising on it. It's, it's fun to see, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, that stuff's gone on since the start of time, you know, like, I guess the transit squads be trashing or whatever. You know, things were getting trashed a lot by then because they were getting so frustrated with not, you know, picking us up so much, or pick, you know, not us two in general, but the whole of Adelaide sort of graffiti scene, picking so many people up and not really having the charges against them that they were harassing before, you know. So um, they resorted to cheap shit. It didn't really help because, it, you know, if you, if you poke someone too much with a stick, they'll just, you know, do the same shit back, worse, or whatever. You know, there'd be days when uh, you just, you know, I'll just um, destroy stuff, but just have enough, you know, three or four pieces in one week trash. Yeah, okay. You know, ten pieces in a week trash, right, you know, go do this, do that. Well, the cat and mouse, definitely. I look at what the transit police or even police in general do, or trans Adelaide workers, whoever, you know, buffers. Do the same shit. They do exactly the same. And, and it's kind of accepted, but you know, for instance, we did on these on these trains that were getting scrapped. You know, they were, they were coming straight from the yard to the place from from the Adelaide yard or all the you know the state transport authority yards to to a scrapping place and just chilling in a, like an open layout. You could you know pretty easy to paint and have some fun before they were scrapped. You know, like, and you know the, the cops would go there and like so we couldn't do whole cars, smash the windows. Or, you know, I'm talking. 30 windows, 40 windows, and smashing windows. Like, what the fuck is that? You know, like, I don't know. If a, if a young kid went down and went, hey, I'm going to smash windows on these trains, it'd be like, oh, the kid's got problems, or, you know, we'll take him off to children's court or whatever. But, you know, it's acceptable for a 45, 50 year old man to do it and, and sort of, you oh, know, you can't do old cars type of thing. It's like, it's, it's very petty to be sort of, you know, sort of what I'm going on about, but. Sort of like tit for tat, you know, like for an eye, like it's just got a bit much after a while. Yeah, man, like they still do it to this day, man. You know what I mean? Like, I get things trashed even now, you know. Like, that night they trashed all of them, like you know, about five or six of our big legal productions that we did for the councils and governments. So, you know, a lot of them were on train lines. Most destroy them all in one night. We've got massive crime franchise. Even though it's smashed windows, they were saying to me, oh, you've seen the whole cars, you know, like things like that. It's, you know, water off the duck's back to me. I can't give a shit. I've got really nice photos 